Hello! Welcome back to my channel. We want to share our experience staying at the Grand Hyatt Jeju Hotel. We went here in November 2022. We booked the smallest room in Hyatt is 65 SQM King Room. Even this is the smallest room, it is very spacious and big. As you can see, there is a walk-in shower and a tub as well. Everything is very new. It was built in 2020. The bed was very comfortable, so if you are picky about the bed, I strongly recommend you to stay here. They even have a 75 inch TV, it's a fairly big TV compared to any other hotel I visited. And for your information, I stay in the 12th room, so this is the view you will be getting in. And my room number was 1280, so if you want to have the same view, this is where you can stay. And they actually have a toilet room separately with the fancy bidet as well. They provide us a complimentary dessert because we told them it's our anniversary. Feel free to pause and review this. After the check-in, we went for the teas and snacks. It's a lounge and we do um, request the Grand Club access. You just have to pay a little extra. It will cover these kind of teas and snacks, evening cocktail and tomorrow's breakfast as well. They do have a quite a bit of options here. After the snack, we decided to go shopping. They actually advertise they have a big shopping mall, which is true. There's a lot of clothing stores and restaurants and arcades as well. As you can see, this is an arcade. There's not a lot of people somehow that week. Maybe it was during the weekday, so there's less people. They have a lot of restaurant options, so you can walk around and decide what you want to eat. Um, the price and the menus are out here, so it's easier for you to select. We decided to try a buffet, it calls Grand Kitchen. It has a lot of food, like seafood, Korean food, Western food, and dessert, a lot of big selection. I'll walk through you and you will see a very long video of this. I would say this was the most expensive buffet I've been. It is 130,000 won per person. For two people, we spent about 152 USD. Um, actually, if you use the American Express card or any other eligible card, they actually gave discount. That's why my price went down as a USD dollar. Even it was pricey, I strongly recommend to try here because the food was very good, especially the seafoods were very fresh since it's Jeju. Especially if you're going with any foreigner friends, it will be a good experience for them since they can try different type of foods in this buffet and they can learn about food as well. They have a pretty big selection of um, sashimi, so if you like particular one, you can even ask them to cut it for you. They even have a huge selection of western food, like Italian and American as well. They offer Korean traditional food, which I really like this, so my fiancé can try different type of Korean food and see if he likes it or not. Not only Korean and Western, they also offer Chinese and Japanese food as well, so you can basically try it across 
most of the East Asian food here. If you love shrimp, you must try this. These are not easy to find normally. We ate a lot this day since we went for a halasan hike and came back. They offer a big selection of desserts, macaroon, cake, ice cream. There's a lot, so check it out. They even have a chocolate fountain with the Iron Man theme going on here. Since this was November, there's Christmas theme going as well. Honestly, we couldn't try all food and dessert because it is a really big selection. Um, it was not busy in the beginning, but there are a lot of people came in and got booked. You can make a reservation. Sometimes it's very busy. They recommend to take, make a reservation. Next morning, we went for a breakfast since we had a grand club access. This is already included. They have a pretty good selection of breakfast. They have Western and Korean food as well. If you're looking for a hotel near the airport, I think this is a good place to stay. Since it's our last day, we just wanted to be at the place is near the airport and kind of have a luxury experience. We truly enjoy staying here. We wish actually stay one more night because they offer a lot of other stuff. There's jimjibang as well, massage and spa. I strongly recommend you to stay here one more night or do a late checkout or early check-in so you can enjoy the hotel more. But thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye!